One thing I hear over and over in the comments here on YouTube and on email and social media and direct conversations I have with other business owners, leaders, and founders is I know there's so much more out there, but I just don't know how to take the next couple of steps I know I need to take as a, as a human, as a founder, as a leader when it comes to AI. I'm still using ChatGPT, kind of like a caveman, if I'm honest, and I want to go and be an AI forward leader. It's kind of the term that resonates the most with me is I'm AI forward in almost everything I do. And so today I want to walk you through the five-step framework that I've used for myself doing a hundred days of AI videos here on the channel. And this is day 35. And this is the framework that I've put together for myself in learning a new thing about AI every day for the last month plus. And then I'm using going forward probably for the rest of my life because AI is transformational in almost everything we do. I have kids in school, they're learning about AI. My spouse is dealing with AI at her work. I'm definitely dealing with AI. It's gonna impact the economy, our jobs, our lives, our parenting, our relationships. And you can either be scared or you can embrace it and lean forward. In this channel, and I am all about embracing it and leaning forward and doing the absolute best we can with it, okay? so. I put together a document and a framework that I'm just gonna walk through with you. This is not, I'm not sharing a new tool. I'm not sharing how to prompt stuff. I'm sharing how I think about really leaning in and adopting AI in your life and making the absolute most of this enormous opportunity that we all have. Cool, sound good, let's do it. Okay, so, so the problem is we have this implementation gap. And before we talk about the solution, we have to talk about the problem. The problem isn't that like AI doesn't work, it's that we have this gap between, I know it can exist and I can do it. And this is a massive difference between knowing about AI and actually using it to drive measurable business results. Most business leaders I talk to are stuck in this gap. They know AI is important. They've played around with ChatGPT. Maybe they've watched some of my YouTube videos, <laughs> but they're not seeing transformative impact that they keep hearing about. And they feel like there's so much more. And they think about it like this. It's like having a high performance race car just sitting in your garage, but you're only using it to drive to the grocery store. The potential is there, right? But you're not accessing the potential. And here's why this happens to me. First is you're overwhelmed. Um, just as an aside, I spent the last 30 minutes before recording this video just looking at AI and looking at different tools and I'm overwhelmed and I'm super deep into this and I think I'm pretty good at it. But I get overwhelmed too, so don't feel like you're alone there. By the sheer number of tools and options out there, every week and really every day, there's a new tool promising to revolutionize your business. And some of them probably will. And the second, most of the content you find is either too technical, written by developers, for developers, or too service level for you to actually implement. And the third, and this is a really big one, is you don't have a systemic approach. You're trying random stuff, throwing spaghetti at the wall and hoping something sticks without a clear progression from where you are to where you wanna go. And as a result, you waste time, fall behind your competitors who are moving faster, you may miss out on the real transformational power of AI, and this is the opportunity of a lifetime, I think. This is the biggest thing since the internet to me. Okay, so let's talk about the five stages of AI forward leaders. Uh, so stage one is the foundational builder, and this is where you go from casual user to strategic thinker. Most people wanna skip this stage because it doesn't feel exciting. We talked about the little league versus major league baseball analogy on the channel before, and this is really apt, I think. But in this stage, we're gonna do three things. So we're gonna build our literacy first. You don't need to become a developer, but you do need to know like what an API is and what a token is. What's the difference between AI, machine learning, and generative AI? What the heck is an API and why do they matter? What is prompting and how does temperature affect your outputs? Like you have to understand these things. So this isn't about us becoming encyclopedias. It's about having enough knowledge to put it to work within the tools that we're using. Second is we're developing strategic thinking about AI. And this means looking at your business and asking where could AI create the most impact? Or a question I really like is how can I hire AI to do this in my business? I think as an aside, a lot of us in business are going away from hiring humans to do jobs to hiring AI. And it's a really big strategic shift in how we operate a business. And a lot of us don't know what to do. That's just the, that's the, the plain truth. We're not talking about tools yet. We're talking about strategic thinking and the outcomes that are affected by those, right? So questions you might ask yourself, is like what processes are repetitive? What decisions could be augmented by AI? And what are my biggest bottlenecks? 
Cool. And the last one is a mindset shift. You're seeing AI as a toy right now and a fun little thing, um, something you play with on the couch in the evening after the kids go to bed to something that can and does drive real business value. Cool. So action steps for the first step is spend 30 minutes a week auditing your daily tasks. We're not even doing anything yet. We're just being aware of what is kind of holding us up and where AI could help your calendar, your to-do list, and just kind of ask yourself, hey, what is repetitive and can be automated? Don't even worry if it can't, just identify the problem in this first step. Okay, stage two, we're calling this skill developer. And this is where we go from strategic thinker to competent practitioner. So we're really start kind of getting our hands dirty and building real skills, tools, apps, and processes with AI. And the first skill we have to master here is advanced prompting. Prompting is not just asking ChatGPT for a recipe for butter chicken, uh, but it's using a systemic approach that will dramatically improve our results. I use uh, at least four steps in my prompting. You have to include all of these for sure. Role, context, command, and format. You can also use examples and constraints as two additional aspects of a really good prompt. Uh, but role like you're an experienced marketing strategist ex with expertise in B2B SaaS. Cool. Context uh, is giving relevant background information about what you are asking it to do. The command is uh, not just help me with marketing, but create a three-month content calendar focused on thought leadership, right? Uh, what is the thing that you want it to do? You could al also call this a task. Format, pretty straightforward. Do you want this in CSV as a PDF and markdown, bullet points, whatever. And so the second thing we're going to do once we understand like reasonable prompting is we're going to start refining our toolkit. And this is something that I find holds up and hangs up more people than almost anything is back to just overwhelm, right? They're like, what about Manus? What about Claude? What about ChatGPT? What about Gemini? What about perplexity? What about God knows what, right? Uh, we have tested all of these. Uh, I have my favorites. They may not be yours for the things that you want to do with AI. Uh, and so what I would say is all of them can work very well. It mostly comes down to you, your comfort level, the things that you want to do specifically, and how you're going to, uh, how comfortable you are with using those tools. Cool. You can't go wrong with the major tools. I would pick two or three core tools and really master them. Go a mile deep, not a mile wide here. Okay. Commit to using one for a specific task for at least a week and document your result and compare it versus other tools. Both uh, yourself and just take the outputs and stick them into another tool and ask it to compare the results. So here's the action step for stage two here. Choose one or two core AI tool and commit to using it for specific business tasks for the next week. Maybe it's ChatGPT, maybe it's Claude, maybe it's Gemini, maybe it's Manus, maybe it's Perplexity. Write emails, analyze documents, upload spreadsheets, brainstorm strategy, right? You can do all these kinds of things and just try to get a little bit better every day. We're not trying to kind of boil the earth here, right? Okay, so stage three is we're building systems around this. And this is where we go from like, I can kind of do things to I'm creating automations and real systems for my business, okay? And this is where it really gets exciting for me. So we're gonna automate something basic, like automatically drafting email responses when someone fills out a contact form on your website or summarizing meeting notes and sending them to your team. Uh, I use a tool called Grain for recording all of my Zoom and Google Meets calls. And I have an automation that pipes uh, my grain recordings into N8N and creates a Slack message every time I finish a meeting. So in terms of tooling here, you can use Zapier, you can use Make, you can use If This Then That, you can use N8N, it really doesn't, you can use uh, Lindy, it really doesn't matter, right? Like the tooling, not nearly as important as the thought process around, hey, how can I automate these things, okay? So common tools you might use are things like Grain for recording, uh, Fathom is another popular one, uh, Notion has this built in, but so does, if you're using uh, Zoom, has it built in too, and so does Google Meet. So they have native solutions to these, and then pipe it into something like Gmail, or Teams, or Slack, or Notion, or Basecamp, or other things that you want to do, right? The goal here is not to automate your entire life, it's to win with one thing, right? Uh, we want to have one task that we do over and over, that if we automate it, would remove some cognitive and time load from us, so we can focus on other things. Okay, stage four is the strategic implementer. It's where we go from like creating automations to really transforming our business 
And we're gonna start thinking about AI, not just as individual tools, but as a comprehensive strategy. So first of all, like we're developing an AI strategy that aligns with our business goals. It's not just random. It's not just pink kittens, as I talk about. You're asking questions like, hey, what are my biggest operational challenges? Where could AI create the most competitive advantage of me? How do I measure the ROI of my AI investments? And so it's not about implementing AI just for the sake of it, just so you're cool and feel better about yourself, right? It's not. It's about using AI to solve real business. And second, we're thinking about it from an organizational perspective. How do I get my team on board? How do I roll all this out and train people effectively? How do I manage like a change process within my organization? Because you 100% will have people who are resistant and scared of adopting AI, it taking their job away, and you're gonna to have to manage this. I speak from firsthand experience here. And then third, we're gonna build measurement systems around all of this. We need to be able to prove to yourself and to stakeholders in your company that this stuff is working, right? So metrics like time saved, revenue generated, cost reduced, and quality improvements. How are we gonna prove that the things we do with AI actually make a difference? And so the action step is to take our most successful automation from stage three and teach one team member about it, document the process, train them properly, and then measure the results. This is the beginning of scaling our efforts beyond just yourself to your entire organization. Okay, and stage five is where we become an AI leader. And this is where we go from just transforming our business to really becoming a competitive leader in our industry. And this is where AI becomes integral in how we think, how we operate, and how we lead our organization, and just as a human. And at this stage, we'll do three things. The first is we're gonna drive cultural transformation. We're not just using AI by ourselves, we're building an AI-first mindset across our entire organization. It's kind of the definition of leadership. Our team members are proactively looking for AI opportunities, experimenting with new approaches, and sharing their successes and failures. Second is you're focused on continuous innovation. AI is moving so fast that what works today might become obsolete in six months. You got to create a system for continuous learning and staying current. And we call this the learning rhythm within my company. And so on a daily basis, we're consuming AI content from YouTube channels like this and other ones, podcasts, blogs, social media. And then weekly, you want to have a reporting system with your teams where they're reporting to you and you're reporting to them the things that you're learning and the things that you want to take the next steps in implementing in your company, right? How are we going to train each other on this? And then third is you're becoming a, a leader and a mentor. You're helping other people in your industry, not just in your own company, to understand and adopt AI. You're sharing your experiences, frameworks, and lessons. It's not just about being generous, it's about establishing yourself as a thought leader in the space. This is where I am. I'm at stage five in my business. We've adopted AI, I've adopted AI, it's in the business. Our team is thinking about AI all the time. And my next step is here, and I'm help coming to help you here on this channel to make have that same transformation, right? And so your action step here is to schedule a one hour AI mastermind with your team or group of peers, other CEO and founders in your area. And the goal here is for everyone to share one success and one challenge that you're facing in your business. And so you can start building a culture of innovation and continuous learning and excellence when it comes to AI in your business and in your life. Okay, so this is a different format for me, for sure, for the video, but I wanted to share the progression that I've been through and how I think about it. And I've codified it into these five steps so that you can take the next steps that I know many of you really want to take, which is I've used ChatGPT, I'm kind of AI curious, as I say, to I'm an AI forward leader. AI is the first thing I think about when I have a problem in my business. It's how I solve problems and it's how I lead my team to solve problems too. And so, hey, if this is helpful and you want to take the next step in your AI journey, I've designed a free 30-day AI accelerator email course. I'll send you an email every day for 30 days walking you through the exact same kind of frameworks and methodologies I have here. So you can go from AI curious to an AI leader. Link is in the description below.